So the core model here is going to be a financial accelerator model. So this is going to be a standard DSG model with a financial sector. And the financial sector is going to be uh, there to facilitate the flow of funds between households who are saving money and firms who need money to invest in capital and be productive. So for, for some reason, there's going to be a financial friction here. Uh, and it's going to limit the amount of borrowing and lending that, that banks can do. Okay? So when a financial crisis occurs, this is going to lower asset values. And it's going to make it harder for banks to borrow and lend. Uh, and this is going to cause a larger downturn in the economy than otherwise would have occurred. So on top of this, we're going to add a central bank which can step in during times of crises and borrow money from the households and loan to firms similar to banks, uh, but without this constraint that banks face. And so this is going to sort of alleviate the pressure that's on financial firms during times of crises, and it's going to lessen the magnitudes of uh, the drops we see in financial crises. So people have studied this uh, financial accelerator and credit market intervention by central banks before. Uh, and, but when they've studied this kind of thing, the policy, they've normally assumed that the policy changes, so turning on this central bank intervention uh, in credit markets is unexpected and considered permanent. So I'm going to relax that assumption by using a regime switching model. And this regime switching model is going to say, okay, Households and agents in the economy expect that financial crises occur with some pro small probability. And then conditional on a financial crisis occurring, they will, uh, the central bank may or may not step in. There will be some probability that they, that they come in and intervene in credit markets. Okay? And then if they do intervene, they're not going to intervene forever, but at some point they're going to decide to exit the credit markets, stop their intervention, and unwind the assets that they've accumulated up to that point. So this regime switching structure is going to allow us to ask uh, several inter interesting questions. 